Before we get started, it is advisable that you prepare at least a few of your written email series in advance, preferably in a text notepad. So all you have to do is just copy and paste them into your follow-up email series in your autoresponder. So in this video, we're going to be using Aweber and I'll show you how to start adding your follow-up messages in a way that would get them read and increase your open and click-through rates. So first and foremost, be sure that you have already created your list. And even if you're using other autoresponder services, you will find that the setup is quite similar despite the different names for the features. So let's get started, okay? In Aweber, go to Messages and click on Legacy Follow-up Series. Now, if you have nothing going on just yet, you're going to see that there's nothing here except uh, three options for you. And we're going to choose drag and drop email builder. All right. And you see that the email builder is here. So again, it is advisable to have your email series written in advance so that all you need to do is just copy and paste them and that makes it so much easier. So what I just did here is that I basically took a copy of my email that I written in my notepad and I just pasted them here and you see how fast that was. Uh, this is why I like doing my content on notepad first before I actually put it into uh, autoresponders or even Microsoft Word so that it just makes me a lot more efficient that way. And you see that doing this saves a bit of time because you know when it comes to programs nowadays, they take a bit of time to load up and editing on them takes a bit of time as well. So th this way you actually work a lot smarter. Now bear in mind though, at least in Aweber, you'll find that the contents are pretty much uh, put together. So you will have to space them out quite a bit. Okay, so here's what you're going to do next. You're going to select everything and over here, you're going to change the font size and it's advisable to change it along the lines of size 16. It is proven that having a font size at around 14 to 16 gets your emails uh, open rates better and click through rates better as well. Here's why, because with this, the readability just got better and it will appear better as well when people or your subscribers open this in their mobile phones or tablets as well. So have this at font size 16 and the goal here is to make your email as readable as possible, easy on the eyes. And what I do here is that I take the link and I hyperlink the text. So I select this whole thing and I click on this icon here or you can also press Control K or Command K in Mac and I paste the URL over here. So whatever site it is you're putting here, whether it's a download a free book or to a download page or to an affiliate link, whatever, you will want to hyperlink it, okay? This is a lot better than just pasting out your link like this. So this will help increase your click-through rate as well. So you will also notice that in the same email, I basically have two to three links but they usually go to the same site 99% of the time. And here's why, because when people open the email for the first time, you want to have one link at least above the fold that it can click through right away. And as any of them choose to read on, they'll still get another reminder call to action at the bottom. So you'll want to have the email stuffed with at least two to three links going to the same website. I think four is kind of pushing it. Anything more than four is not good because there's a very high chance that your email will get caught in spam. And also as a gentle reminder, be mindful of the kind of choice of words you use in your emails. You want to avoid hypey words like guaranteed, make money fast and things like that because all this is just going to fit into the profile of a spammy email. And even if you're using a trusted autoresponder service like Aweber, you can still have the email go into spam because of all these words. So don't hype your emails up, okay? Now, over here, you can have some words in bold if you would like to. Let's just say, I want this text in bold. I'll just click bold. 
if you want some highlighted you can do that as well all right just for the fun of it you can select the highlight i like put yellow most of the time and then and this makes the email more readable okay and finally you assign your name over here uh, all right now you might notice at the bottom of the email here there's this a uh, line breaker you can do that because what's going to happen by default is that when this email goes out to your subscribers whenever they join your list is that there's going to be a can spam footer at the bottom what can spam basically is is that all your unsubscribe details and your mailing list details are listed below by default so you don't want it to be too close to your signature here it's not going to make it look nice so this is why i kind of space it out three lines here and a line breaker over here so it doesn't get too close but anything more than three lines is kind of killing it and aweber or any auto response service for the matter will not like it now another way you can do it and make the email look nicer is that you see there's this thing called the divider you can drag and drop it below and here we go so you can delete this make sure there's just three lines here one two three and there's this divider over here now i, I normally like to make it one pixel or two it's totally up to you i just put it one here and at least the email looks neater right now and at the same time it's a break away from the can spam footer at the bottom so let's review this email really quickly looks good i think we can leave it alone if you want to be fancy you can, uh, feel free to but in my experience it's better to leave your email uh, as simple as possible keep it simple professional straight to the point and very good readability so you notice that I don't even stuff a lot of lines into the paragraphs. Okay, so you'll be taken to a drafts page. Review it again. Looks good. Click on send options and click on add to follow up series. So since this is going to be the first email of its kind, you're going to see that there's no other option except this one. Track clicks on website. Yes, just leave it by default. And that's good because this can give you some good statistics when people start signing up to your list. So click on the green button, add to follow-up series. And there you go. See how easy that was? Now, just to draw the point further, I'm going to add another email. Let's try it one more time. Practice makes perfect. Click on create message, drag and drop email builder, and let's do it again. So this time you're going to be adding a second email and this is the next email your subscriber is going to read perhaps the next day and there you go this is what a second email is going to look like again take note that i made the font size bigger than what it was to increase the readability it's respectively spaced out and here we go click save and exit And let's review the email again. That's what I do. And as you can see, this is what the email looks like uh, when you put it out with the can spam footer at the bottom. Click on send options and click on add to follow up series. So you notice that this time the options are a little bit different than what you saw previously. You see that the interval is now here. You can choose to add it any day after the previous. So normally I like to have it one day after because you don't want to lose your subscribers' attention. It's better send it the next day and if you're going to have a seven day series for example you want to send them on a daily basis back to back next you see there's this thing called send window you can send any day anytime that means if you leave this alone your subscriber will get this literally 24 hours after the time you sign up so if he signs this up at 1 a.m as an example he's going to get this email 1 a.m the next day now this might not be a good thing because if you want your subscriber to read it at a time where he's awake most of the time and maybe just by chance he might be awake at a time at 1 a.m but not all the time so you can change the time here like say 9 a.m and have it go out every single day i'm going to leave this alone all right and click apply so every day at 9 a.m your subscriber will get this email okay so whatever it is it's going to be 9 a.m the next day and then message options yes leave this alone track clicks on website send messages based on each subscriber's local time i would highly encourage you to take this and you're going to leave it at that so i'm going to click to add to follow up series and we're done
You see how easy that was? To get started, I suggest you put in at least anywhere from four to seven emails in your autoresponder to just get things going. Of course, the more emails, the better. And don't forget to, every now and then, monitor the open rates. And if you find any emails that are not performing, you either tweak them or even remove them entirely from your list segment. So don't be afraid to split tests and find out which emails work the best. And in the interest of time, I normally recommend most people to just get started with four to seven emails just to get it going, get your feet wet, and you can always add emails afterwards. So there you go. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.